Today is the 7th of February, 2011. We are in Margaretville, New York at the American Legion Post. My name is Wayne Clark and I'm with the New York State Military Museum out of Saratoga Springs, New York. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and your date and place of birth, please? Yes, yeah, it's uh, Ralph George Smith and the plate of birth was in Brooklyn, New York. And I guess that's about it. Right? What, what year were you born? 9, 12, 22. Okay. Did you attend school in Brooklyn? No. Uh, we moved out to Long Island, the family. Uh-huh. And that's where I went to school. And did you graduate from high school? No. Did I? No, no, no. I, I went to a... Uh, uh, tour and die. I tour and die after I got to the last thing, uh, so I didn't go for that. I went for that tour and die, and that's what I got into later on. I continued for more work. All right. So, Do you recall where you were uh, when you heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor? Yes, I was with my now wife at that time. We had gone over to visit some people and we heard all of a sudden this, this attack on Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And um, it was quite a surprise because there was a lot of talk about it, as you know, but it was, uh, when that hit us, it really thought, oh boy, you know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to go right away. I, I guess it took me Oh, maybe three or four months before I signed up. So you enlisted? Enlisted in the Navy, yeah. Why, why did you pick the Navy? Oh, good. Well, I always liked the Navy. I always mm -hmm. liked this. Did, did you have any family that w had been in the Navy at all? Well, I had some friends from my aunt, and her brother was a, what was he? He was a chief. Petty officer way back, starting in, I guess he started in 36 or 38 in the Navy, and then he got, by the time the war started, he was a, a, a chief warrant officer. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you went into the Navy, were you married at that time? No. Uh, how, how, did, how did your girlfriend feel about you enlisting in the Navy? Oh, she, she didn't holler too much. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was with Root for, uh, from when we started with my first car and oh, my friend then, and okay. I got in the Navy and... Uh, where, did, where did they send you for your, your basic training? Uh, Newport, and, uh, Newport, Rhode Island, Newport, because Rhode Island. everything was so, so mm -hmm. many, trying to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I got, ended up in there in Newport, Rhode Island. Was that your first time basically away from home for a long period? Yeah, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was. And what was basic training like? Oh, it was good. I, I liked it. I, you know, it, it, Was the food good? Yeah, it was not bad. <laughs> not bad. It was not like I'm used to, you know, when you start. Uh -huh. uh, no, uh, the food was good and uh, they focus in real Real well, I would say. You mm -hmm. know, you didn't fool around, and you were told to do things. And the biggest thrill, I guess, we got when they made us go into uh, the room, and then they we put the uh, tear gas in that, so you'd have an idea what would happen when this kind of stuff happened. But it was just something you just went in and out, and that was it. Mm -hmm. That's what it, uh, they done that in boot camp. Now in boot camp. Uh, <clears throat> Did did you know how to swim before you went in the navy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Swim. Did you ha did you have to take any kind of swimming test in oh, boot yeah. camp? Oh yeah, you had to go with, with the uh, pools up there. They'd send down and maybe oh, eight or ten guys and go swim in the pool and they how you did it and how mm -hmm. you did it and that. Mm -hmm. So that's the way we worked it there. Once you graduated from boot camp, where did they send you? Boot camp, they sent me to. Well, let's see now. I went down to where the heck was that? Was down in uh, huh? I can't think of the name of the place. It was down where uh, by where Adele uh, where uh, was it a specialty school that they sent you to? Or yes, it was to for uh, gunnery school. I was taken out of a, 
uh, okay. right away sent down to gunnery school, and that's well, I was in gunnery school to the end of the war. Well, uh, what type of guns did you train on? When we were done, I oh, I had a, twenty millimeters, fifty calibers, and uh, thirty, forty-five, no, forty-five. 50, 40, 50 uh, anti-aircraft gun, mm -hmm. and uh, of course we had to learn that uh, handling our own ammunition, because I was in the Merchant Marine there. We were in any kind of a ship that you wouldn't believe. Oh, they put you in the Merchant Marine. No, no, they didn't no, put him in there. No, we, we went to the armed guard. Uh, oh, guard, the armed guard, okay. Yeah, and had a, you'd be sent in on uh, so many guys. And, Mm -hmm. Depends how many guns were on board, and it was really something because the first ship we took out, we went across, and uh, from New York to England, and we had we got chased all the way up here, <laughs> way up to the, what the heck is it, to Greenland up there, trying to dodge the uh, submarines and that. Oh, really? But we lost. I think if I remember right, with 12 ships out of the, uh, we had a 40 some odd ship convoy. So and you lost, you lost 12, 12 of them? Was, wow. Um, that that, that they, was pretty considerable. Yeah, we were ch chasing up, 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 and you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the. But they were hand picked. The on guard was hand picked. Hand picked? According to their personalities. Uh -huh. right? And they went on World War One. Equipment. Yeah, World War One. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, as a member of the Armed Guard, you worked with like c civilian crews too. Oh yeah, the Merchant Marine <coughs> was on board. Yeah. How, how did they, how did they treat you guys? They we were they were good. Most mm -hmm. of them. We had uh, their captains. The first ship I was on, captain was a Norwegian guy, mm -hmm. and he was terrific. I mean, he not bothered with us at all. He didn't bother us. We did our job. He did his job. Mm -hmm. And he was written very nice guy, the captain of that ship. That was a uh, tanker. Mm -hmm. and we went, they sent us down when I first got it. The first ship I got on was that tanker. They sent us down to um, uh, Aruba to get fuel. And then we, from there, we was headed back to New York and we got caught in the hurricane and there was four or five, five other tankers with us, but the, tank, the head of the uh, thing, or they, they call him again now, oh, he was the head of the, where the ships would go and, you know, so when the storm hit us coming out of Aruba, we had Four, yeah, it was five ships out, and uh, they uh, wanted to turn, the head of the convoy there, to, to turn and head with the thing. Our captain snuck, <laughs> snuck out on the tanker and headed towards New York on his own. So he didn't <laughs> want to have to go nowhere, you know? Uh -huh. And we lost, we really, it was so rough on that thing that the guns on the uh, bow, Five inch, no, four inch, yeah, four inch fifty, and it was twisted right around right off the gun cap. Uh, mm -hmm. By the time we got back to New York, the thing was leaking, they had a, a crack in the hull, and we were pulled in there and they done a little work on it, and we laid there, I guess it was about a week or two, mm -hmm. and then we got orders and we they got a uh, Convoy and went up to uh, Canada, waited there about, I guess, a week or two, and then we sailed over to, it was the first trip over to England, mm -hmm. and it took us 33 days to get from Canada there over to England. Any incidents? Uh... Oh, yeah, that's the one we lost, about six ships on Oh, okay. There. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a gigantic convoy, it was about 28 ships, something like that, but we lost <laughs> quite a few. Hmm. Uh, but uh, we got to England, and we were there only uh, three days, I think, and they sent us back home. 
and it took another, I think it was 28 days coming back empty. And, but like you got a submarine warnings, you'd scatter all over, then you'd have to leave, you know, set up again your convoy. And, so it took time. Mm -hmm. you know. Do you think the armament aboard the ships were adequate? Well, to begin with, they were the very first ship I was on. We had machine, two machine guns up on the bridge from World War One, and we had an old gun on the stern from World War One. And half the time it wouldn't fire, hmm. <laughs> and we had problems with it. Now, was your ammunition old, or? Well, no. Well, it was. It was good. It sh it fired. That's mm -hmm. all I can tell you. But we, that was coming up from Aruba up, and then they put the new, they put a new 3-inch 50 on the bow, and 3-inch 50 on the stern, and gave us four 20 millimeters. So mm -hmm. we were a little better off to go all across. Mm -hmm. uh, Did but, you ever have to use the uh, guns against the enemy ships or subs? Or? No, we'd fire the subs if we see a periscope stick up somewhere, you'd uh -huh. go ahead. Never hit any, as far as we know. No, mm -hmm. they hit it, but they'd sneak up and they'd get the top. Like I say, they knock you off ten, twelve ships out of the convoy like nothing. No. Now, did you carry depth charges at all? No, 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 nothing like that. No. 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 So, and like I say, we were at the mercy of the slowest ship in the convoy. Mm -hmm. So that's why, like, to go to England the first time, it took us thirty-three days. To go to England. That's a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. How many trips uh, did you, did you make approximately across the Atlantic? Atlantic, we let's see. I went. We went there. We went back, and then we took come back. And I got in uh, four trips. We went the first time. Mm -hmm. Then what they do? Like when we got back, they gave us a, a ten day leave. leave. And when we come back from that, we got an, an old tub you wouldn't believe from, I don't know where they dug it out of. It was, it was a, uh, not a tanker, it was a freighter, you know? Mm -hmm. But it was from World War I. Oh. And we went on to that, and mob, you know, it moped along, and that's the way it worked that way. And they sent us all the way down to, uh, not Panama. We went past Panama. We went down to um, oh, what the heck one was it down? Panama Canal. No, no, uh, no. South America. South America. I'm trying to remember whereabouts. Argentina. Argentina. Uh, okay. So when we pulled into Argentina, they were neutral. So we had to take all our ammunition, put it below. We had to get out of our uniforms. We couldn't be seen there in our uniforms. And Did you wear civilian clothes? Yeah. Well, we got it from the Merchant Marine, nothing, fa uh -huh. <laughs> nothing fancy. Huh. But finally, we were there about a week before they even let us off the ship. But when they did that, that we were allowed to go ashore with our uniforms. And that was that. Hmm. And we picked up bauxite there and brought that back to New York. When we got back to New York, I guess I was there about two or three weeks on board the ship. I was working in and getting to go out again, and they load us with uh, all ammunition. We ended up being an ammunition ship, and we got very comfortable because just everything was just bombs and everything, which we were carrying. Yeah. So uh, we uh, were there, I guess, I guess we were there about three or four weeks before we sailed, and we was, when we were going across the the uh, out in the harbor in New York, we almost run over a ferry boat. A ferry boat tried to beat us as we were going out, going out, and we just missed them. Yeah. We had a good gun, uh, uh, merchant men that knew how to handle. Boy, they dropped the anchor. They were full speed of certain, they, and they looked at, <laughs> it was just like that. And we had formed up as we got out near. Uh, the uh, main inlet, inlet coming into New York, and then we formed up the convoy to go over, and we went over to 
England like that, and we had, um, oh, that was a pound point, must have had 60 ships in it. But uh, we, in that one, they chased us far enough far up that we, they came, we stayed out of the, I guess, of the submarine. It was too, they couldn't hit, handle it in that type of where we were up in the mm -hmm. ice and all that. So that's how we snuck into England from there. But from there we went back, and then they sent us down to South America for some. And we went back out of that. So it was go go go. So you, so you basically uh, went back and forth from New York, yes. New York Harbor. Yes. Now, did you get to uh, each each time you you came back? Did you get to spend any time at home at all? Oh yeah, they give us. His father never knew how many. People were sleeping in the house because he brought three or four guys home. He packed the peat coats on the couch. <laughs> That's how he knew how many were there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, so your your mother, your mother was alive then? No, yeah. she could she, oh she go over to the butcher and say, "I have a lot of navy guys, and I've got to feed them." And uh -huh. He would pull out the meat. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, now did you go over too to oh, eat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were engaged by the time I was uh, 17 and a half. Oh. So. Now, were you still in high school? Uh, yes, I graduated uh, the following year. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. After that, let's see, we got, oh, yeah. Then I got off that old, the second run across, we come back. I got a, I guess it was 10 days or something like that, furlough. Mm -hmm. And when we went back to uh, the uh, Brooklyn Navy Yard there, they put us on a troop transport. And it was a brand new, beautiful ship. That was the first one we were on. And we had a gun crew, I think. Uh, we had three officers. We had, oh, I would say 25 men, 30 sailors. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, other things. So you, it was another split. You had the Merch Marine running the ship. You had it was a troop transport. So the troop transport was run by the army, and then we were at large. But we, mm -hmm. I think we had. I was a picture in here. I forget how many men we had. We had, I guess, about thirty. Now, did you always uh, travel with the same group of armed guardsmen? No, no, it didn't, no. It didn't, no, that, no but, you'd lose it, you know, they'd go there, you'd go there. And, I see. Yeah, and then if you got a promotion, it didn't put you in another place, you know. But uh, the whole war, I never did anything but go ships. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. was put did, anywhere else. Did you go any place in the Pacific or just Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. After we got the three trips, like I told you, Two of them were two, four trips over to England and that. We got a, a, I think it was a 30 day leave. It was a good side leave. And, uh, and then we got on this nice troop transport and we were all on board. We were all set to, we were going. And they were under the impression that they were going to uh, over in England and that. And all of a sudden, they needed them, and they sent through the Panama Canal, and we, they ended up in, uh, 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 you know, what the heck is that? New Guinea. New Guinea. Oh. So that's where we went. And from then on, it was back and forth, and from New Guinea over to New York, and then back to the Philippines, all over the You never came back to New York. You just went to the Pacific, and you didn't come home for a whole over. A year, over a year, yeah. Now, now, were you ever under attack by the Japanese at all? Oh yeah, we were, we had them over there, right? But it was like a, uh, we would, when we were over there with the, that, we would be uh, with maybe four ships, more or less all the same, you know. Maybe you'd have a tanker there, and then the rest of it be the uh, troop ships. Or well, what about navy escorts? I mean. Uh no, you were mostly on your own. Really? Yeah. What about uh, kamikazes? Well, we had we were attacked. When, when, I'm trying to remember what I, where we docked. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there was some island. Uh, 
Once I was, we were out and we were attacked by Japanese and that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we were anchored at the time, we'd have, they'd come in at night and drop some things and that. But wasn't that so, so you didn't lose anybody from enemy action? Or? No, 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 we were lucky, good. Mm -hmm. Now, what duty did you like the best, uh, being in the Pacific or the Atlantic? Oh, I, I think I like the uh, Atlantic because we got home soon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was good. The, the Pacific, it was a year before we uh -huh. got home to home again. <laughs> now, while you were in port, uh, especially in the Pacific, did you ever get to see any USO shows or any, oh, anything yeah, like that? Oh, yes, we did. We had seen the Hawaiian girls. They were in here, and uh, I got a lot of pictures of everything in here. I don't remember where the... This is... Whatever happened. Yeah, they're in here. So, uh, now, yeah, they are going to Hawaii. I was going to say, can you show us the girls? Or oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. I've seen some of the pictures. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a, one of mine over there. Well, if you can hold, just oh, yeah. tilt that up in front of you, I, I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can see the uh, New Guinea uh, native on it talking to me or giving something. Oh, that, oh, that's. No, can that's can you tilt that? Okay, right there, because I was getting some glare. Okay. So that's you, huh? Yeah. That was in Life magazine, I think. Oh, was it really? Yeah. And there, well, there's a couple other things I think that I'm showing you, but. Uh, ah. <laughs> Now that group uh, picture on the other page, is that uh, you and some of your buddies? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. That's when we ended up in, um, in the Philippines. Okay. Uh, that went to the Philippines. Right? Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see, I was on that, and that was the... And to do it stayed on it the last one. No, after the oh that's right, after the troop transport. I got sent home. home. All the troops you brought home. Yeah, with the yeah. And then uh, they sent me we went after we had our thirty day leave, I had to go back from to New York from New York back to uh, uh, Frisco and then from there we bummed around for the till the end of the war, which wasn't Hardly anything. Oh, let, let me ask you this. Were you in the Pacific when President Roosevelt died? Yes. Yeah. What was what was that like? Was there was it kind of a shock or Well, I don't know, there was a lot of um, I mean he was probably the only president you really knew. Yeah, right. Because right. he was in for so long. Yeah. No, it's yeah, probably going to age. He died. They had all these flags, even though we were out in the, out in the Pacific or anywhere, and half there for no, you know, mm -hmm. done all that. So that was about it. Now, now, what about when they uh, dropped the atomic bomb? Uh, when you heard about it, did you find it so hard to believe that uh, one bomb could be so destructive? Well, it did that, but we also we were in. Uh, Oh, God, I forget all these doggone names on there here. We're in the, what, not, what, not, what the heck, island was it? Where the, the planes took off to hit, hit the, the uh, giant, giant oh. with that atomic bomb. We were there at that time. Oh, were you? And I'm trying to think of the name of it, what I want to do. Jesus. Was it Hawaii? No, oh, no, no. It was, no, was some place like Guam. Uh, Guam? No. No, but um. Oh, jeez. Geez, I I can't think of the name of it either. No, yeah, it, it's where they took off from for the yeah. first atomic bomb attack on that job. Once once uh, Japan surrendered, and the war was over, was there a lot of celebration on board ship? Oh yeah, yeah. We threw all, I had to throw all the ammunition overboard. Everybody was. Like, so happy, and, you know, uh -huh. and we had a long trip back. Now, and, now you didn't go into Japan or anything. No, no, no. We, the furthest we got is when, when they, where the planes took off for, and when you heard that you know they had hit, and then the atomic bomb, and 
we said just bummed around the Pacific until we got time to get back to mm -hmm. Frisco, and then from there we went home and were discharged. So, so whereabouts did you get discharged from? Back in New York? No, I got uh, discharged in uh, California. California. Oh, yes. really? Frisco. Yeah. Okay. How did you get home? Uh, so they had trains going out by servicemen mm -hmm. being sent to oh, where the heck was it? It's outside of, on Long Island, but I can't. What was it? Camp Upton? No, it was the Navy. So oh. it, on Long Island? No, no. On, uh, well, Brook, at Brooklyn Navy Yard, that's yeah. where oh, they, okay. and then they redo, and they, we would let go from there. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, what rank were you when you were discharged? Gunner's mate, so, uh, third class. And that's, that's the patch you wore that's in the case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's all the other medals I had. Okay, can you tell us uh, what what those other medals are? Oh, let's see. Um, okay, the first one up there is the uh, we, you got when you were sailed in the areas right outside of New York, and that that was your first area. Okay. Then after that, that was, I think that's was that the American Campaign Medal. Yeah, that's American Campaign. That's the one that when you went down to uh, oh. South America and all of those. Okay. And uh, this one is when we got sent to the Pacific. Okay. That one up there was when we had a, in uh, uh, we had to join the what the heck was it? We got tied up with some couple things in uh, Philippines on that one. And right. that one there was a good conduct medal, and that's the one when we came home. Okay. Now, uh, did you go through any kind of initiation when you... Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You can see them in their underwear here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, the equator. Of course, the equator. The equator, okay. Yeah. Well, we yep. crossed it quite a few times. You know, going down to South America, we crossed it three times. Mm -hmm. Then when we went out to the Pacific, another. So, so. Mm -hmm. so once you went through the initiation, you were... You were good on every trip. Yeah, you you were the old sea dog. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and one when we had that troop transport, we uh, got a the merchant marine made a big tank there for us, and then it was going to be uh, uh, break, breaking them in or whatever you'd say. They, they had to go into the, the pool and things like that. And uh, it was mostly the uh, army guys because they were going for the first time. Uh -huh. The rest of us were all had gone through it, and uh, we, they were they were good sports. So. Uh -huh. Then later on in the last trip over, uh, they we had a, well, I had quite a few guys in our gun crew that we had never been a crew, uh, in the Pacific before either. All mm -hmm. you know. Okay. You want you want to show us some of the some of the pictures you've got there, some of the photos. Uh, yeah. There was a really nice one of you in uniform, a big one yeah, there's towards the front. Back here somewhere. Yeah. Your big one that I took out of the frame. Yeah. No, I, I, I did see it. Yeah, yeah there was a really nice yeah, formal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gee, how old were you there? Oh, you were pretty, uh, pretty young. 20, 20, 20, 21. 21. Yeah, 21. Okay. And I had my gunner's mate ready. Okay, where was that picture taken? St. Albans, New York. You know where the naval hospital oh, yeah. is? Okay. Around that area. Okay. All right. Now, were, were you... Uh, Ever injured at all, or wounded, or no, no. A, a, any kind of diseases like uh, malaria or dengue fever? No, any? No, no. We had it every time we coming back here or go to another ship, and 
you had to go through and you got your shots mm -hmm. and continue. Okay. Um, now, you also had a, a map there, I think, yeah. too, of places he went. Oh, yeah. We I was going to say if you can pull it upside down. <laughs> you can hold it up. Well, let's see. Maybe I can. Uh, yeah, actually, if I hold a camera, I can. Well, here, okay. Here's where all of the ones we had left. And I was telling you about those trips to. Oh yeah, across right, the Atlantic. Atlantic. And then they, they sent us all the way down to South America to, to where we, we picked up that bauxite and all. Okay. We made a three, we had, what, a three or four runs there. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we went through the Panama Canal here, and we got sent over to, to come out, or come toward the canal and here. And then from then on, it was all my runs and that. In the north of the uh, Pacific. Pacific. Okay. Yeah. So, they're wow. all over. <laughs> yeah, you made a lot of runs. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were a good full year there. Easy. And we had a code. We had dogs. Oh. And if I knew he was going to England, it would be Roxy. I'm going to see Roxy. Oh. Everything was censored, remember? Yeah. <laughs> so, so all of his mail. They had uh, like certain words crossed out. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm sure my mail was handled a letter every day. Uh huh. <laughs> no men around. So when did you guys get married? 1943. 43. Okay, so he was still in. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, I take it you probably got married in uniform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where did you get married? Brooklyn. Okay. Now, uh, after the war, did you uh, make use of the GI Bill at all? No. 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 Uh, I got a job right away with the uh, at the airplane. Republic. Republic of the Asian. Oh. oh what, yeah. What did you do for them? Well, I was I was in the machine shop, so I was in there. And okay. I was there for. 20 years. Yeah. So worked my way through that. We went out and. Uh, yeah, the day you got your 20th in is the day you resigned and went to IBM. Yeah. Right. No. IBM down in Poughkeepsie? No. No. Vermont. Oh, Vermont. Okay. Yes. All right. And um, did, you, uh, did you join any veterans organizations? Yeah, American the, Legion. American Legion. Down up here, not down there. A long while after. Okay. Did you uh, stay in contact with any of the guys you were in service with? Oh yeah, yeah. We had their, their wives and they'd be over at home and traveling around. Yeah, we had mm -hmm. a back and forth a lot. A lot of Navy reunions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Immensely. Oh no. Matured mm -hmm. very much. <laughs> Wanted to go back. Day, but it's she wouldn't let me. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that to her. <laughs> now, uh, now, being that you were a civilian during the war, did you experience uh, uh, things like shortages of food or uh, we had rationing? rationing we had, and uh, the stamps you bought for bonds, and uh, we had no no men around except people that. You know, in the neighborhood, we played cards, we mm -hmm. went to the movies with girlfriends, and mm -hmm. those kind of things. Wrote letters every day. Mm -hmm. Well, we had brothers and cousins and things like that. Now, <coughs> did, did you work uh, in any of the defense places? No, no. Places but or? most people worked 10 hours. My, my father would work 10, 12 hours a day. Now, where did he work? He was a structural steel, but he worked in the shipyards. And I all. see. Okay. And how about how about your parents? Uh, what did your dad do? He was in a telephone company in, in New York. Uh huh. In charge of some office there. 
Test Bureau. Test Bureau, right. 34, uh, 36th Street. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. We should get visitors from the Navy every time the sun came in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is, is there anything uh, we might have missed that you'd like to add? No, except it was, it was pretty testy because I more or less knew that it was a big danger in being in the convoy. Sure, you know. sure. Did he have any friends that uh, were lost at all? Or? Well, one friend was lost in the submarine. Mm-hmm. And my other, and, and uh, one was in the Air Force. In the Air Force, and they were in the, you know, they were in the pictures of, of them in here. And, yeah, and, uh, Okay. Yeah, right. Right. Well, that's all right. I was going to show them before we got home, that one with the guys you were talking about. Okay. Know? And, uh, they were bodies of mine from kids. Here they are, here. <laughs> you don't have to look at that, but I was just going to show you. Which, which photo? Oh, the, the one up, the up, one up here, top? Yeah, they were all in the backyard, and they, um, this guy, Boone, we called him, and he ended up in the uh, Merchant Marine as a uh, chief... Uh, one? No, 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 the... Um, in charge of the engine room. Oh. He was in charge of the engine room. This fella here, well, he was in the Air Force, and he was, he was shot down over Germany. And uh, other, did, he su did he survive? Or? No, no. No. And the other buddy here, is, he was in the Navy, and uh, he, was one of, oh, he was all set to go in the Navy because I got in ahead of him. And he went, oh, I'm going to go into an island out there. And he went to an island. He was left there for the whole war. And it was a, like a stop if planes were in trouble. Uh -huh. They could land on this island. That's all he did. He was very unhappy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. All right. Well, thank you so much for your interview. Well, thank you. Gosh, that was a long interview.